Hey guys, Druin here. I'm bringing you some footage from my Nightmare Cup. I uh, went into San Francisco for this one and met some really awesome people. So thank you guys for hosting it. Really appreciate it. I was able to come out on top this time and I uh, brought a somewhat unique team. I chose to bring Lucario, which didn't have a super high showing, so I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. Uh, just some brief thoughts on the team. I went with the 2-2-2 two, two, two lineup, so 2 Fighting, 2 Dark, 2 Psychic. And I really liked this lineup. I thought that the triple Dark or triple Psychic lineups weren't working for me in practice, so I'm happy I went this direction. Um, uh, the team was Toxicroak, Lucario, Bronzong, Zatu, Spiritomb, and Umbreon. Uh, just a couple thoughts on that. I think that both Toxicroak and Lucario are excellent Pokemon. Uh, they're both versatile, and I used both. Uh, I think that Bronzong is, in my opinion, the best Confusion user. I get that there's a lot of people out there in the Hypno camp, and especially post-Earth Power in the Claydol camp, but uh, as you'll see, I use Bronzong all the time, even when it has really bad uh, calculated matchups. Zatu is pretty good. Right, beats all the psychics, very versatile, and it's the best anti-fighting Pokemon. So that was its main purpose on my roster, was if someone went heavy on fighting, I'd use that as a counter. Uh, and then I think Umbreon's actually the strongest Pokemon in this particular meta. It beats the most things by the most, and it's very tanky and very, very easy to use. So I thought Umbreon was key. Uh, Spiritomb I actually don't like very much. Uh, I used it mostly for bench pressure. I think I brought it in one time and lost, so I would have won. Uh, it does have some interesting matchups into Toxicroak if you have uh, charge move priority. But if you're going to cut one thing, I would have cut the Spiritomb. I'm uh, not sure what I would have brought in place, so I'm pretty happy with the team all in all. Alright, well let's get to the games and I'll try and walk you through this. Alright, so a couple things about my first opponent, Fate Shiro. So he has Alolan Raichu, Shiftry, Claydol, Drapion... Spiritomb and Toxicroak, which means he's only got one fighter, and he's going with the triple dark lineup. This is something I was totally prepared for. So he has a kind of rough position here where he really only has two opens that beat Lucario. And this is something that I have had a lot of success with in this meta, which is opening Lucario. So I have a favorite team and it is Lucario, Bronzong, Umbreon, and I use it for most of the matches in this tournament. And you'll see how I use it in both good and bad opens. So, in this case, my Lucario will beat everything except his Claydol and his Toxicroak. I'm prepared for the Toxicroak open, and it's extremely uncommon for people to open their main Psychic user. They might do Zatu, but it's very uncommon for them to open a Confusion user because of how weak Confusion users are to the variety of dark openers in this meta. So uh, you're going to see me go with the Lucario, Bronzong, Umbreon team. So let's see how it goes. Alright, so he leads Alolan Raichu. This is a great matchup for me with Lucario. All I have to do is spam Power Up Punch on activation, and there's nothing he can do. Uh, I'll double shield the two Thunder Punches that he gets, and even if he shields the next Power Up Punch, it doesn't matter. Uh, he could shield both Power Punches and it doesn't matter. Lucario will still win. So uh, this is a fantastic spot for me. So he gets that, he switches into Toxicroak, which is a great counter for Lucario, but that lets me bring out Bronzong, Hard counter for Lucar or for Toxicroak. Nothing he can do here. He's gonna mud bomb, does a bunch of damage, doesn't kill Bronzong though. I don't want Bronzong to have a lot of HP because I know he's gonna come out with a dark user now to farm my Bronzong. And I would rather actually the Bronzong died now that it's done its only job, which is to kill that Toxicroak as fast as possible. Uh, I will get off a heavy slam, so that's just kind of gravy. He comes back in with the Raichu, which I thought was a pretty cool move on his part because it protects his dark user, but the problem is that I have a Lucario, and there is no possible way that his dark user, assuming he went with 1, 2, 3, like I did, can ever beat a Lucario. So uh, 
I'm going to bring in my Umbreon here just to test the waters in case he did something sneaky, uh, like bring in another Psychic type. Um, but there's, there's no real recourse for him at this point. Uh, Drapion can beat Umbreon in the open, but it can't beat Umbreon in a 1 1 shield scenario. So I actually can just win here with Last Resort alone. Instead, I choose to prep the swap just because it's a cleaner finish. So I was waiting for him to use charge moves because Umbreon can tank an incredibly large amount. And so I wait for him to use all the charge energy that he has. So this Aqua Tail is the second charge move. I don't bother to shield. Immediately switch on the charge to Lucario. And this gives me the best possible switch. I have power up punch ready. He can shield it, but it won't make any difference. He gets to his charge again, but I have a shield left. So that was pretty much decided um, by the fact that Lucario beats all of the things that he brought. So that's a pretty tough spot to be. Um, and that I was able to kill off his one Lucario counter, which was the Dr. Crow with my uh, confusion user. So let's move on to game two. So in this game, uh, I'm gonna run the same comp because I don't think he really has an out. So uh, I open the same Lucario, Bronzong, and Umbreon, and you'll get to see here that he opens Toxicrope. This is what everybody criticized me for, thinking that there's no way Lucario is gonna win. So I'm actually prepped for this. I've done it a whole bunch of times. I fail to switch there, which feels really bad, um, leaving him the opportunity to actually get the Mud Bomb off, which he's not supposed to get when this match goes correctly. Um, but the idea is you get four counters on Lucario, which charges Power Up Punch and gets you close enough to Shadow Ball that you'll be able to use that also. And then you switch to Bronzong, and all Bronzong needs to do is hit one or two Confusions on the uh, opponent, opponent's Toxicroak, and even if they switch into a Dark, from there you have a Lucario for their Dark, which is a really, really good matchup for you. It's much better than Toxicroak in Dark Pokemon. And you have an Umbreon, who is actually so good that he's capable of killing both whatever Psychic they dropped, or they brought, and their highly weakened Toxicroak. So uh, you'll see here that I do exactly that. I have the Power Punches for his Drapion, who he did get the kill on my Bronzong, but it's not enough. And so uh, I'm just going to shield this out. It's by far worth it for me to keep my Lucario alive here. Uh, this is a Power Punch buff to Lucario, and he's going to be able to kill the Drapion and have a charge move. And you'll see here that whatever he brings in now, he has no shields left, dies. Shadow Ball on Lucario with a Power Punch kills everything in the entire meta. So it's going to die, and uh, I guess it doesn't kill some of the dark stuff out there, but I wasn't too worried about that. Umbreon's going to beat everything that he has. Uh, so he also brought a second dark, Shiftry. The problem is that Lucario did half of Shiftry's life, so Shiftry would normally beat Umbreon. But because Lucario did half of Shiftry's life, all I have to do is get to a single charge move on Umbreon. There's no chance that his Shiftry's going to kill me before I get there. And so I get to my last resort, kill his Shiftry, take round one. Okay, a little bit about Jimmy's team. He's my second contender. Uh, he's running the Triple Psychic team, which is a lot harder for my double fighting team uh, than the Triple Dark. He's got Zatu and Hypno and Toxicroak, all of which beat up on my Lucario. But he's also got a Drapion, and Drapion is so good as an opener that it makes me want to use the Lucario nonetheless. Uh, same thing with the Lolan Raichu. So both of those two are really good openers. Um, plus, if I catch Eradicate, that's just the best possible scenario. Um, if he does open Toxicroak, I have a strategy for that. If he opens Hypno, that's pretty bad. If he opens Zatu, that's doable, but also pretty bad. So I decide to start off with the normal Lucario comp. I have the most practice with it. So let's see how it goes. All right, so I open Lucario, he opens Raticate. So it's pretty hard for him to recover from this. 
Uh, this is such a dominating opening matchup for me. He obviously has to instantaneously switch. He switches to a confusion user. One of the big reasons that I love Lucario as the open is he hit me with two confusions there, but Lucario's steel typing means that he actually doesn't take that much damage from those confusions. So my Lucario is perfectly healthy despite taking those confusions where a Toxicroak would have basically already been dead and he wouldn't have had enough life to live through that Eradicate when he comes back and can crunch off of having farmed. So the big reason that I like the Lucario open, uh, here I'm finding out one of the most unfair matchups possible, <laughs> Umbreon versus a Psychic. He does, he does have Focus Blast. I knew that he had Focus Blast, so I did shield the charge move. I want to keep my Umbreon healthy because his only fighting Pokemon is Toxicroak. And Umbreon actually has a fairly good matchup into Toxicroak. I mean, it's a losing matchup, but he'll do a bunch of damage on the way out. So you see here that I get a big hit on his Toxicroak with my Umbreon. Great. And I'm going to get a foul play here as well. Fantastic. And so he has to block that. He's got no more shields. I have a shield. And I know all he has left is Eradicate and Toxicroak. So I'm going to kill his Toxicroak with my Bronzong. But Jimmy's a master. And he switches instantly. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I also switch to follow. And I power up the punch. Insta-killing his rat. And now all he has left is this relatively low health uh, Toxicroak, which obviously can't possibly kill both my Lucario and the uh, Bronzong. So he does double, sh double charge move to kill my Lucario, which is great. But now he has no charge move left, and there's no possible way that he's going to kill my Bronzong. So I take round one. All right, for round two, I thought for sure he would lead some sort of psychic now that I showed the Lucario open. So I went with the Spiritomb open, hoping to catch a Psychic or Toxicroak. Um, because Spiritomb is not a terrible open in Toxicroak. It's not great. Uh, he has charge move priority because I won game one, and it doesn't lose without charge move priority. But it gives me the good swap here. So um, I'm okay with it. It's a fine open. So Spiritomb felt pretty safe. I didn't think he was going to lead Rat again after having just seen the Lucario. A lot of people who win round one don't switch for round two. They do round one again. So it's usually uh, pretty dangerous to relead a losing a losing lead like that. So I thought Spirit Tomb was by far the safest thing I could do here. This is my only use of Spirit Tomb. Uh, so I hit the Toxic Croak with two Ominous Winds, and I block uh, both Mud Bombs to keep my Spirit Tomb healthy to kill his eventual Psychics. And I swap to Bronzong, and he... And he doesn't get the swap off. It looks kind of like he swapped there, but my Bronzong came in and instantly killed it. So now he's down his Octocroak. Um, this is a sacrificial Bronzong, essentially. Now, I make one major error in this round. I actually would have won this, I think. Um, however, unfortunately, he uh, he has this Raticate, and it wasn't sw switched in. It was because I killed the the Toxicroak, and I lost track of that in my mind. I also should have gone for Heavy Slam there, but still a V. Um, and so I'm on a switch lock right now. And what you'll see I do, so I have him pretty dead to rights here. I can switch into Toxicroak, and he can't take it, but I don't wait out the switch timer. So I come in with Toxicroak, and he insta-switches to Zapier. That's really bad for me. I needed him to either be locked in with the rat into Toxicroak, or for my Toxicroak to be able to um, switch out as soon as he switched out. And all I needed to do was wait down that switch timer and I would have had it. So unfortunately, he gets the air attack off. And now I have a Spirit Doom locked in with a Rat. That's an automatic game loss. So I'm definitely going to lose this, unfortunately. Um, I really should have just waited for the switch clock. And then I would have won with my good lead call. So moving on to round two or three for Jimmy, I know what I'm doing. So I end up leading the same lineup, Lucario and uh, Bronzong and Umbreon. He leads Toxicroak. I'm prepared for this matchup. One, two, three, four counters. Perfect switch to Bronzong. 
he gets a perfect switch. So again, really good switches there, Jimmy. That's fantastic. This time, I did get one confusion off, which is probably enough on the Toxic Croak to make this a winnable match. Um, thankfully, in this match, Jimmy also makes a, a fairly big mistake. So I get the heavy slam. Um, he's just going to go. He blocks it, which is, again, pretty good for me. So now I'm two shields to one shield against his Raticate. Um, that's kind of a freebie shield. Then he uses his charge move here. Definitely don't do that. So you'd rather just take the heavy slam. Now he doesn't have enough charge to hit my Lucario. So I'm waiting down the shot clock a little bit here. I pop in mode of my Lucario, and he's got no charge. So I can just charge farm his Raticate. I'm still in a pretty bad position here. He probably could have taken this. But I guess he didn't know how much charge my Lucario had. And so I Shadow Ball here. His Tox would have had a fair chance of just cleaning my team. But he eats the Shadow Ball. And uh, now I'm, I've got a locked-in Umbreon with his Hypno. Nothing he can do from this point. I have far too many shields. Um, it's possible I would have won anyway. So if, if he had blocked Shadow Ball, I would have switched to Umbreon. And I would have charged up Last Resort, killed him. Uh, and then I would have had uh, half-dead Umbreon versus the Hypno. And I think the Umbreon still wins half-dead versus Hypno, as long as you have a shield. So I think I actually still win that matchup. I'm not too concerned about it. But the Bite um, and the Shield on the Alolan Red Data. Those are pretty bad. So good game, Jimmy. All right, looking at Alex's team. So he has... Umbreon, Lucario, Toxicroak, Drapion, Zatu, and Claydol. So this is pretty tough for me. Um, he, he went double fighting just like I did, and he went Claydol instead of Bronzong, and uh, Drapion instead of Spiritomb. Uh, I actually really liked his team. I think probably his team was better than mine. Uh, however, I really do like the ability to run the Tox or the Lucario Bronzong Umbreon team, so uh, up in the air there. Knowing that he has a Lucario, though, and being a Lucario aficionado myself, uh, I am aware that if you don't pretty much play to counter the Lucario, you'll just get beat by it. So I played to counter the Lucario. Uh, it turns out Zaku's pretty good lead against him. Uh, it beats his Lucario, Talks Croak, and his Claydol, and ties with Zaku. So that's a four for four of six lead. So I thought it was a very safe way to come into the round. Uh, so I start off with Zatu. Uh, Toxic Croak way better than Lucario here because it beats Lucario. Um, it's also really good into Drapion. Uh, it does get a little bit trounced by uh, the Claydol and it's much worse for Umbreon, but you kind of kind of pay that price when the other guy's got a Lucario on his team. And then Umbreon again is the strongest Pokemon, so I brought that up. So I lead Zatu, he leads Claydol. So this is something that I kind of expected. And that's why I led Zatu, because it had so many good matchups. Um, and this is a pretty majorly winning matchup for me. Uh, Ominous Wind charges before his Gyro Ball does. Um, unfortunately, I make a pretty major error here. So this is my second major error of the tournament. Um, this one definitely does cost me this game. So I'm over here, spamming my Ominous Winds, feeling really good about myself. Uh, I've got plenty of another Ominous Wind ready. Can't wait. Hit him with this Ominous Wind. And he goes for the switch. And I don't know how I click these buttons so incorrectly, but he swaps here. I'm going to like fully charge Ominous Wind. He swaps. I click the swap and just completely miss it. And I eat way too many hits there on Zatu. I should have switched that way better, and I would this wouldn't have even been really a close game. Um, so I switched in the Toxic Rope, which is the counter for his Umbreon, and uh, get off a Mud Bomb here. Fantastic. And uh, nothing really exciting here going on. I did shield here thinking that it could be last resort. Uh, I'm not sure why it wasn't last resort, actually. Um, so I get this sludge bomb off, and I think, this is fantastic, right? I'm going to kill this Glade all, and then what's he going to do? 
doesn't even kill the Quaidal. Man, you're wrecked. So we both die. I should really win here. Like, this is a winning situation, right? He's got a Lucario. The problem is that I took so many hits on my Zatu that my Zatu has no health. And so I can't tank the Lucario long enough to do enough damage. And now you get to see why Lucario is such a beast. He has my full health Umbreon. All he needs to do is hit one foul play. And unfortunately, he's not going to get the chance because Lucario does a lot of damage. So Lucario takes this away. And I lose game one off of a unfortunate fail to switch in time on Zatu. Alright, so for round two, I figure that I should probably lead Toxicroak. Um, I got away with my Zatu lead round one. Unlikely he leads Quidal again. So I thought Toxicroak would make a lot of sense. Again, he's got a Drapion. People love leading that Drapion. I, I nailed it. So it was a pretty good predict there. Uh, I have no idea what happens here. So I have the switch window open just in case he switches out. And he doesn't. He chooses to Aqua Tail. No problem. That's great. I can tank that and just keep countering. And then for no reason, Sludge Bomb comes up. So that was... I didn't click it. You can watch the video. There's no click of Sludge Bomb. It just pops out of nowhere. So that really sucks. I didn't want a Sludge Bomb there, but whatever. Uh, so here's the switch I was expecting. So I switch out without taking confusion damage. And uh, I'm locked in now to an Umbreon versus Psychic matchup, which is, you know, the dream. Dream. So right now I have a lead in the Toxicroak versus Drapion matchup. And I'm about to have a massive lead in the Umbreon versus uh, Claydol matchup. So he chooses to shield there, which... I don't know that I agree with that. I think you just let your your clean all die and then hope you can clean up with your fighting Pokemon. Um, because you know, the, the clay doll doesn't do anything with that shield. But regardless, I now have an Umbreon and two shields against his Lucario. So can I kill the Lucario, right? That's the question. So this time I'm in a much better spot than I was last round because he doesn't have any shields. And that gives me the opportunity to uh, do a lot of fancy footwork. Thankfully, I brought the Zatu, which is one of the better counters, into Lucario. He's going to do his very best to bait into Shadow Ball, because uh, that's the way you win the matchup. Um, so I'm thinking back and forth, is the Shadow Ball not worth the risk? I think with two shields, he actually can't physically do two power punches and Shadow Ball. This should have been Shadow Ball. I am shocked it wasn't. He had plenty of hits to do it. Um, oh, it was Shadow Ball. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So there's a Shadow Ball. I block it. And then he has a low health Drapion. Uh, there's nothing he can do. I have a full health Zatu. Aerial Ace takes the win. Round three comes. And, you know, back to old faithful. Uh, using the same comp. He led Umbreon, which I was very surprised by. I assume he thought I was going to lead Zatu. So uh, I've got my, my same normal team here. Get a little bit of lag, but the Lucario uh, open. Oh, and I do have Zatu instead of Bronzong here, because again, Zatu's so good into his team stats-wise. So um, he switches. He has the Lucario. Unfortunately, I have the Zatu which is just the hardest of hard counters here. Uh, I do, again, have to worry about the Shadow Ball. He power-up punches. Uh, haven't exactly counted my counters, but I'm 99% sure he couldn't have Shadow Ball here. So uh, I take it, which is great. And uh, get the kill. Now we're one shield to one shield, but I'm in the massive, massive lead is he doesn't have his Lucario anymore, and I have an Umbreon, and there's very little chance that he's going to win from that position. Uh, so I let my, my Zatu die here. Now I have a Lucario and an Umbreon, and there's basically nothing on his team that can beat this, these two. So uh, I'm going to come out swinging with the Lucario, uh, do some good damage. He's still got a shield. 
So my thought is I'll bait the power punch and then I'll shadow ball, highest chance of winning. Um, I assume it's a psychic Pokemon, so I assume he's going to block with power punch and guaranteed. And correct. And then I'm going for the, sh the shadow ball here, but unfortunately my poor Lucario doesn't have quite enough health. Thankfully, I have a shield, and there's absolutely no way, no possible scenario where Claydol beats Umbreon. It's part of why I like Umbreon so much. It is such an incredibly safe Dark-type Pokemon. If you can get it into a 1v1, Dark versus Psychic, which is the whole point of my Lucario comp, uh, there's absolutely nothing they can do. Uh, you know, the, the Umbreon's going to win that every single time, so I take it down. Good games, Alex. Moving on to the finals. Alright, my final opponent, the only other 3-0 contender this time, Serifs, brought the Toxicroak, Bronzong, Zatu, Triple Dark with Shiftry, Spiritomb, and Rat. Uh, so he's got no Lucario for me to worry about, and he's got Triple Dark, so I'm gonna go with the Tried and True. Uh, his only real answer here is to lead either the very unlikely Confusion lead uh, or Zatu Toxicroak, and I've got a pretty good read on the Toxicroak matchup. Uh, if he leads anything else, I've got a huge advantage. So let's see how it goes. So round one, he opens Toxicroak. So I'm going to do my one, two, three, four. Perfect switch. Feels good, man. Hit with one confusion. He didn't switch fast enough. Definitely hit with that second confusion. So his Toxicroak at this point is one hit from dead. Um, so this is, again, just to explain while I have a little bit of time uh, in this Raticate matchup, why I think this comp works. Because the Bronzong, even though it's going to get hard countered by this rat, has already done its job. It's already killed the Toxicroak. And it's locked in his rat. And Rat is one of the biggest threats to Umbreon, um, because Umbreon has such an incredibly high win rate against so many other Pokemon. So we get rid of his Rat here. Uh, he actually used a shield there, which, again, I'm not a fan of using shields in this matchup. He's trying to charge farm here, so uh, that's a good idea. I'm on two shields now. I bring in the Lucario, and I get to farm up a little bit on his Rat. He's going to use a charge move. I'm going to block the charge move. And then his rat's going to die. Oh, he used another charge move. So that was pretty good. He got enough farm on the rat. Um, but Lucario's a tank, and so I get to actually tank the Hyper Fang. In reality, I should have 100% shielded that. So now we're going to get to really see the power of, of Umbreon. So he's got three Pokemon to my one. However, there are two really low Pokemon and one Psychic Pokemon. And as it turns out, that is not enough. So he has a shield, I have a shield. I'm saving the shield because there's some, you know, pretty super effective stuff that can happen, like uh, um, if he had Bronzong in, in the back, he could actually farm up to uh, Beam Cannon, and I'd probably lose. So uh, neither Rat nor um, nor talks have charge moves that I really need to worry about. Uh, so I do the double foul play, I bait the shield there. He has a, uh, a bird, almost gets to aerial ace here, but I get the foul play first, and Zatu doesn't have enough HP. So I take him down. I, w I did have the shield for aerial ace regardless. Moving on to game two, uh, so I'm just going to run the same comp because it worked, and he's triple dark. What is the likelihood that he doesn't lead a dark Pokemon this time? Uh, I won the, the, so boom, he leads Toxicroak again. I'm like, damn, all right, well, let's go. One, two, three, and this time I switched one early because I really didn't want him to predict the switch. Got my confusion hit. Mission accomplished. You've done your job, Bronzong. Now he's got Spirit Tomb. So this is an interesting adaptation. A lot of the time when people bring Spirit Tomb, they're doing something funky. Um, and 
while Lucario does kill Spiritomb, and if he has a Psychic in the back, I probably want to use Lucario to kill the Spiritomb, with a Spiritomb this low, I can actually just wait out the shot clock here and then charge farm the bejesus out of it with Umbreon, who takes no damage from Spiritomb. This is one of the major weaknesses that Spiritomb had in this matchup. Um, it's the same with Alolan Rattata, or Raticate. So I'm actually just going to do nothing but auto attacks until he's dead, and I'm going to have a ton of energy for whatever he switches in. So I'll be able to exert some shield pressure. I still have my switch up. I've lost my Bronzong, but I hit his Toxic Croak, so I feel okay about that. So I've got tons and tons and tons and tons of energy right here. I assume he's going to bring in Toxic Croak, but it's low enough that he actually can't take the last resort, which means I'm going to be able to bait with Foul Play. So let's see if he does that. I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah, so he brings in Toxicroak. So I foul play here. And he, if he didn't shield this, I'd have been in a relatively rough spot. But he does. And so I still have Last Resort up. So I use foul play again. And again, he's in a tough spot here. So again, he shields. Smart move on his part. Um, now he's in a pretty tough spot. Because I have the shield for this Mud Bomb. And I'm going to get to... Foul play before he gets to, or I'm going to get to last resort before he gets to another mud bomb. Or, uh, I'm sorry, I have two shields. Yeah, there we go. I got there. So, uh, shield the mud bomb and get the last resort off. And now, my thought process here is if he has a psychic, I think I'm okay because Lucario is going to beat the psychic to um, Shadow Ball. But it turns out he brought Lilin Raticate in the back, and so I just hit the one power up punch. Boom, kind of gets out of here, and that wraps up the tournament. The game Serifs. So all things considered, I had a really good time. Uh, we ended up all going out afterward, getting some in and out, and then doing community day as a pretty solid group. Uh, really fun experience. Uh, definitely want to head back to San Francisco and try it again. Thanks, everybody, for coming out, and I'll talk to you next time.